Gunshot survivors of Reddit what does it feel like to get shot? Right thigh, 9 malum, grazing shot across the front of the leg about 4 inches above the knee. It plowed a channel of skin and some flesh off the front. It felt searing hot like someone had laid a hot piece of metal on my leg for a second. Then, the pain went away for a while until the adrenaline wore off. It honestly hurt worse six hours later than it did when it happened. I was shot in the leg. It felt like a hard flick of a finger then numbness. I didn't think I was shot until I saw the hole in my pants. Even then I thought maybe a rock hit me or something. No pain or blood until I started walking then came a gush of blood and then my entire body went limp. People saw what happened so I had help right away. After that it hurt but somewhere around a 6-7 on a scale of 10. Another time I was hit by a fragment from a ricochet on my forehead. Same feeling of being flicked with a finger. The area around the wound went white and there was no blood. The pain level was around a 5. Neither time was bad but I don't want to try my luck again. I was randomly shot while walking down the street with my girlfriend in 2013. I didn't fall to the ground or anything like that. Walked into a store and told him to call the cops. It didn't hurt too bad at first. A slight pinch. The heat builds up and the pain comes in. Some throbbing as the blood pumps out. I was extremely lucky as the bullet lodged between my lower right ribs in the back just above my kidney. The aftermath was a really ashe back. What I remember most was how everyone around me except for my girlfriend just walked around us like nothing happened. I was suffering and potentially dying and everyone just ignored it. Not my problem, I suppose. I lost a lot of faith in people that day. I got shot in the ankle when I was 10. Honestly I thought a rock hit me. Just a slight stinging feeling. Didn't really hurt. I even kept running with my bike. Later at the hospital was a different story. The doctor tried to remove the bullet without putting me under. He said the pain medicine would make me forget everything. He gave up after a few minutes of hell. And, whatever he gave me didn't work as described, but it did oddly make everyone look purple from what I remember. So maybe it half worked. Lol. My girlfriend was shot not me, but she said it felt hot and like impact but not particularly painful until much later. She was in shock and went to the hospital, after hours she said it started to hurt. I was shot with a point two two in the back. The initial shot hit my vertebrae and paralyzed me from the waist down. I literally just stiff-legged and fell backwards. I then felt a hot wave run down my back and to my butt. Then the seating pain set in. It was excruciating and literally screamed and swore the whole time. When someone asks the level of pain I was in I tell them to think of the worst pain they've experienced and times that by 100. The pain and realization that I couldn't move my legs was just heartbreaking and I just wanted out. Three years later and lots of intense physical therapy I have gained a lot of movement and function back. I can walk with the aid of AFOs and crutches, but still need a wheelchair at home and for long distances. A good friend of mine got hit with a ricochet from a 9 malum that hit his calf, there was drive by about a block down. He was outside of the bar smoking a cig when it happened, ran inside and felt his leg burning but decided to keep drinking. He had about three more drinks before someone mentioned he was bleeding, went to the ER absolutely hammered and was fine after surgery. It hurts like someone stabbing you with a sword that was heated up. Shot twice. Second one resulted in separation from the army. The first was in my armor piece, no penetration but it felt like I was kicked by a horse. The second one was into my pelvis and it's the worst pain I ever felt, and I still engaged in combat for the next 45 minutes before I could safely be moved back. 10 out of 10 shitty. I didn't really feel either of mine until about 10 minutes later. Took a grazing shot off my left arm and one in the right hip that went out my back thankfully missing my kidney. The arm felt like a bee sting the hip knocked me back a step the adrenaline at the time masked the pain. Freak ricochet at the firing range, felt like a slap on my shoulder. The projectile had lost so much speed it didn't cause a bruise. Not me but my neighbor. He was shot in the abdomen with a .22 during an altercation. He said that he couldn't believe how much it burned. The trauma surgeon also told him he was lucky as, 22s can be surprisingly lethal. It hurt, like, a lot. Was shot from behind, I was running away. Small caliber was best guess, maybe .22 since it went in and out of my right arm. Entry just left and down my arm from my elbow, exit on forearm opposite side. X-rays showed hairline fracture on the ulna. Since the bone held and wasn't shattered by the bullet, they assumed small caliber. Felt like getting hit in the elbow with a hammer. Then warmth. 
which I later found was the blood leaking. No major arteries and lucky ricochet away from my center mass. Bloody clothes and ambulance ride. Painkillers and eight-hour observation to make sure no swelling which could lead to amputation. Trauma room for eight hours, then sent home with painkiller prescription. Would not recommend. Usually my vision goes red, I med up, and go back out to battle, but if I get shot too many times, I just respawn. Not too painful IMO. Till from this thread. Way too many people get shot. My brother shot me with a .22 when I was about 14. Hit me in the shoulder from about 100 feet away. Only thing that saved me from it being a serious injury was he used my rifle and I hadn't cleaned it since last time I went shooting, so it didn't have that much energy by the time it left the barrel. It went in about one half, I couldn't get it out and had to go to local clinic to get it removed. Dot. I was more in shock that my asshole brother shot me than by any pain. Honestly it didn't really hurt that much. Later he said I was lucky as he was aiming for my head. Let that be a lesson kids, if your brother is an asshole, don't clean your guns lol. Shot in the bicep at work by what I'm guessing was a .22. Felt like a bad bee sting, the next day my bicep swelled to at least twice its normal size and was covered with a bruise. Not me, but a patient I had when I was a nurse. Dude took three shots two to the chest and one in the abdomen. He said it happened at a bonfire when some random dude opened fire because he was mad that his girlfriend went to the bonfire or something. I asked him how it felt and he said at first, it felt like he was punched by very tiny fists that were on fire, pain meds made him hilarious with his descriptions. He didn't realize he was even shot until someone told him he was bleeding everywhere. Two of the bullets were through and through and he had to have exploratory surgery to remove the third bullet, which miraculously missed every major organ. He didn't really feel any pain until he woke up from surgery. I miss that guy, he was by far my favorite patient. I accidentally discharged my nine and I was hit in the head. While it was going on I honestly did not feel any pain but everything slowed way down. Healing and recooperating was the hardest. My mouth and jaw was wired shut for several months. Had to have complete facial reconstruction surgery. Had to take a piece of bone from my skull and graft it to my nose just so I could have a nose. I also had to have a feeding tube for almost a whole year. I've recovered fully and am very lucky. I remember mostly everything. Some things from the incident I don't remember, but for the most part, I have my memories intact. Got shot twice, one in my back and one shot in my back left shoulder. I felt nothing from the nine malum at first just a little pebble hitting then slowly. But surely, felt like I was being swarmed by wasps. I was fucking 12 when this happened.